We are in the business. I am in the business of attracting foreign direct investment to come and set up businesses here in the UAE. Hmm. And what do we tell them? We tell them that the UAE is an excellent stepping stone for the region. It's the ideal gateway for the region. Right. And the same thing goes to the entrepreneurs. Don't look at the business only within the UAE. UAE is your gateway to the region. We are surrounded by a region that is emerging, that is growing, that is uh, dominated by young generation. Uh, you have Africa, you have North Africa, you have the MENA region, you have uh, the Asian subcontinent. And the UAE is a supplier for this entire region. Yes. So to broaden their horizon, not only to focus on the market share here. The market share here is too competitive. Hmm. Uh, but their base is here. And from here, they're servicing the entire region. So we tried to kind of all these tests. I retired. But here, thank you. I, I really appreciate the point that you made that um, you join the entrepreneur in their journey through the painful and the joyous times. And I think it's key because their success is your success. Absolutely. I mean, it's a success for you to ease the process for entrepreneurs. In turn, that attracts more entrepreneurs, that attracts more businesses, and you see roots being grown into the city of Ajman for each business that opens up. And that is a reward that cannot be, I mean, it cannot be valued with, if, I mean, in a financial manner. Absolutely. It's, it's a reward that, that highlights the city, that really puts it on the map. And um, I believe that it's, I believe that every entrepreneur is looking for that. The ease of operations, the peace of mind, uh, the, the trust that they can have with the authority, you know, uh, setting up their business. And to be honest, I applaud you for, for the efforts and, and the help that you are offering these uh, business owners, these small business owners who are looking to make a future for themselves and for their families as well. Absolutely. I mean, this is, I mean, uh, th- this is why we are created, you know, we're created to create the right business environment for uh, for micro businesses, for entrepreneurs, for SMEs, for large businesses. This is the mandate from our leadership. And and this is something not new to the to the country in general. We we, we are always uh, encouraged to embrace excellence in everything that we do. We are always uh, demanded to take an extra step, go one notch higher uh, uh, because we aspire to be the best globally, of you course. know, and this is as a country, you know, to be the best is also uh, is uh, it's in your DNA. It's in, it's in our DNA, but it is uh, it's not an easy journey as well. Of course. So, uh, of so, course. so uh, w- at the end of the day, all of us evolve together, but then uh, the role of the government in general is to create the right environment for the public, we, be it the business environment, be it public spaces, be it beaches. Our role is, as a custodian is to create the right atmosphere, the right ambience, the right environment, the right climate, the right l- regulatory f- framework. Because, as you ma- rightly mentioned, their success is our success. At the end of the day, we are in the business of building a country. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. And, uh, so it's... it's uh, it's a cross, uh, it's a two-way stream, you know, it's a two-way stream, it's not a one-way stream. Of course, you put it beautifully. Um, it, it, we're always one step ahead. I mean, the UAE is always one step ahead, and this is exactly why it is attracting investors and business owners, even internationally, on an international level and not just locally. Absolutely. And uh, that sets you apart, that sets the country apart from everyone else. Um, so in terms of success rate, do you, by any chance, can you share with us what the success rate of businesses that have set up in Ajman? It's, it's very hard to, uh, to give you an accurate data, uh, but there is a general, there is a general formula that we follow all of us in the free zones, uh, <clears throat> uh, which we call basically the churn rate. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. The longer, basically, uh, the longer the companies uh, last with you means that they're s- basically they're sustaining. Right. You know, uh, uh, success uh, might have different parameters for different individuals, you know. Yes. Uh, in general, when uh, when we look at the uh, the average uh, lifetime of companies within Ajman uh, free zones, if we if we uh, drill down to Ajman free zones specifically, it's about six point five years, which is considered very reasonable. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is the long uh, this is the duration. Now, when we look at the churn rate, uh, based on the, uh, the latest intelligence that we have or the studies, uh, we are at 15%, uh, which is considered above the industry rate. Wow. Uh, some of the uh, some of our uh, colleagues in different uh, uh, <coughs> different cities. They're witnessing uh, 65% uh, retention and 35% churn rate. Mm-hmm. So I, I would say that we we are we're doing pretty good yes. in terms of retention, yes. uh, 85%, um, and we hope that we can increase this to 90%. But it's, uh, it would require a lot of work, and we're. Uh, we're we're gonna plan for it, and you're up for the challenge. We are. We, we <laughs> That's are. That's always good yeah. to hear. Okay, so we mentioned at the beginning of the show that we met at the Future Women Leaders Forum uh, yes. by Gulf News and Being She, and uh, we spoke about the importance of uh, you know female entrepreneurs and employees in the workforce and how uh, women have become a driving force for businesses uh, locally. I mean, the UAE has done a fantastic job with uh, uh, women um, implementation in the workforce and in the business uh, industry. Um, and I just wanted to speak to you about like, what are the efforts that the Ajman Free Zones Authority has been doing to uh, basically cater to women who mm-hmm. either want to start a business or want to grow uh, in a business? You know uh, the, the the topic of the of the woman and the woman contribution to the to the economy uh, is uh, something very significant, um, and the initiative like this is uh, driven from the country agenda in general, where we see uh, empowerment, inclusivity, and uh, proactiveness into uh, encouraging the. Uh, the woman to be more uh, active in, in, in this domain. And uh, as we can see in the last 10 years, uh, <coughs> we come across tons of successful stories uh, of women entrepreneurs who who started from the UAE and uh, went global. Uh, and if we zoom into Ajman, uh, I can proudly say that about 20% of the uh, business owners of the companies that we have of the entire portfolio are, are women. Wow. Uh, and this, again, the growth that we have been, been seeing is that in the last uh, five to seven years. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has grown from 5% to 15 per, for a 20%, so 15, wow. 15% growth. Yes. Uh, is that enough? No, it's not enough. We need to do more, and um, we we are conducting multiple uh, initiatives. We are collaborating with multiple different agencies to uh, to create special schemes for uh, for women to encourage them to become more uh, uh, more active in this domain. See, entrepreneurship uh, is a very tough journey. It's yes. a journey that is full of adventure, full of risk, and um, uh, we we need to uh, we need to encourage uh, more women to take a walk on the wild side. I mean, what would you say though to women that that might be worried? I mean, we spoke about the name of the show, and I'm always about why. <laughs> Tell me why it's important to get women involved. 
women 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 is half of the society you know women drives balance women brings different perspective you know women brings different quality of creativity uh, women complete the picture you know so uh, you can't have an uh, industry is dominated by by just men you know um the the entrance of the uh, of women entrepreneur and we've seen it in different industries has added great value created much more c- created competition and competition right. brought the best of in each parties yes you know uh, <clears throat> and uh, so th- so this is this is a natural answer the second thing this is the agenda of the of the united arab emirates as well um uh, and when we look at the global trends um, maybe the uae has uh, is one of the most proactive uh, countries in uh, designing schemes to support women but i don't think we are still at the uh, right numbers with the uh, our expectations mm-hmm. as a country yes uh, but for the obvious reasons it is proven that women can do things differently. Yes, absolutely. I I know you mentioned this during the event um, as well. A woman is a mother, is a multitasker, is yes. someone that does, you know, budgeting for for a house so when she's in a professional um environment she can bring those skills in and yes. they can benefit the business and I I absolutely love that yes. you brought that perspective in. Um and women women they mold mold generations. Yes. So uh, if women, uh, if they are equipped with the uh, business techniques, they will ensure basically cascading it down to different generation, molding future leaders. That's beautiful. I like yeah. that. That's very beautiful. Yeah. Um, I know you've been speaking since the morning and it has been an exhausting day. <laughs> so I won't take up more of your time. But before we, you know, end our beautiful conversation, can you give future entrepreneurs or uh, business uh, owners any advice um, you know my advice would go mainly to the, to the entrepreneurs and because uh, you know I came across multiple stories in my life and uh, the one advice that I would give the entrepreneur is um, try to s- find the problem that you want to solve hmm you know that's the most important thing you know often we see that entrepreneurs are so much emotionally attached to their ideas uh, and then they would create you know, simulate success stories that are detached from reality because they're emotionally attached to it so you, they need to surround people uh, with uh, be surrounded with people who can be critical in a positive way on their ideas and to be accepted uh, lightly uh, to be surrounded with uh, people who are positive, who are uh, motivating them to give the best of what they have. Uh, but then they need to polish their characters to be able to be equipped to lead this journey, which is full of challenges. Hmm. You know, they have to be persistent, consistent, you know, uh, determined, you know, determined I will be successful. Hmm. I'm, I am going to get there. I will get there, you know. So it becomes a belief, hmm. you know, it's just a matter of time. Right. Um, sometimes you have to be ruthless, you know. Absolutely. But of course, you have always to have empathy. Yes. Yes. Um, and finding the problem that you want to solve, you know, will always ensure sustainability. But the other piece of advice that I want to give to entrepreneurs who are going to set up their uh, businesses in the UAE, we we often see that the business model that they embrace is, is different than the, the business model of the UAE in general. You know, we are in the business I am in the business of attracting foreign direct investment to come and set up businesses here in the UAE. Hmm. And what do we tell them? We tell them that the UAE is an excellent stepping stone for the region. It's the ideal gateway for the region. Right. 
And the same thing goes to the entrepreneurs. Don't look at the business only within the UAE. UAE is your gateway to the region. We are surrounded by a region that is emerging, that is growing, that is uh, dominated by young generation. Uh, you have Africa, you have North Africa, you have the MENA region, you have uh, the Asian subcontinent, and the UAE is a supplier for this entire region. Yes. So to broaden their horizon, not only to focus on the market share here, the market share here is too competitive. Mm. Uh, but their base is here and from here they're servicing the entire region of course uh, and I wish them all the best thank you that's beautiful I think that's uh, that's crucial for people to know You, the UAE is very central it caters to so many you know surrounding countries and regions and uh, that is one of the greatest pieces of advice I think I've heard from uh, you know a business leader is that don't just limit yourself. Use the opportunity to expand. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ismail. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, we hope to bring you back to thank, talk thank more wisdom. Very, it's always a pleasure. And thank you for having me. Thank you.